If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Thursday, October 18th, 2012. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Today in the Finis Monitor is Auburn junior Marcelo Chiragini, who is looking to continue Auburn's great tradition in sprint freestyle this season. And Marcelo joins us now from Auburn, Alabama. Marcelo, good to see you. How are you today? Good to see you, man. I'm good. It's a pleasure talking to you guys. You too. So you just had your first dual meet of the season. Uh, tell us how that went for you. Uh, I was pretty happy with my times, uh, 20.2 and a 50, 44.4 on the 100, and then 44.4 uh, again, leading on the relay. So it was pretty good. We're, we're really tired, working really hard. So it's pretty good time for this time of the season. What's your motivation level for dual meets, especially when you're going into them during hard training? Well, one thing is about a good thing about here in the United States is that the dual meter is so competitive and uh, we don't have any choice. We just need to go fast and try to beat the other team. And uh, I'm, uh, every time I'm really excited to race you know, on the dual meets. Now you went 20.2 in your 50. Uh, compared to last year at this time, uh, is that faster or slower or about the same? I think last year I did 20, around 20.5 20 or 20 point high or something. But yeah, I think I'm definitely faster this year on the 50. Well, that's good. And how about your 100? Faster as well? I remember my 100 last year, my first one, I mean, I was 43.9. So a little bit slower, but uh, definitely working harder this year, especially on the, on the lifting. Yeah, that'll definitely affect you in the longer races, especially after. Yeah, yeah exactly. So last season at the NCAAs, you were second in that 100 freestyle. Um, you know, you finished second to Jimmy Feagan, who's long, no longer there. So that kind of puts you as the favorite. What do you think it's going to take for you to win in March? I think it's going to take around 41 high, 41 mid. Then we should probably win. Do you think you have that in you? Yeah, definitely. Did uh, last, last season, were you, look, were, were you expecting to go 41? Uh, yes, I was expecting to go a little bit faster than my freshman year, but uh, um, since we have my trials like one month after NCAA, uh, me and Brad, we decided that we're not going to taper, full taper for NCAAs. So we did like, uh, we rested, but no, we didn't have full taper. So I probably should go faster this season. Well, just hearing that's probably making a lot of your competitors a little bit nervous knowing that you went 42-3, not fully rested. And it's got to make you excited to know that you did that not fully rested. Yeah, I'm really excited for this season. I want to see how, how fast can I go full, full taper. And um, let's see, I'm excited about it. Now, is the fact that you weren't fully tapered the reason why you weren't as good in your 50 at NCAAs, or are you just better at the 100? Well, I think my 50, I think it's always been a little bit worse. My hyper first swim the 100, but uh, after NCAA last year, uh, on my trials, I really did a huge improvement on the 50. Uh, I dropped from 22.8 to 22.0, so I'm really excited to see how fast can I go in yards, like fully taper in yards. Yeah, that will be interesting. So after, you said after NCAAs last March, you went straight to your Brazilian Olympic trials. You did make the Olympic team. You got to swim, got to swim in the relays. What was that experience like for you? It was a great experience. That, uh, I was really happy with my results, but I really didn't swim that good. Uh, we didn't put Caesar on the prelims, and uh, we got ninth. We almost did the final. Uh, I was a little upset with that, but uh, I was really happy with my performance. Well, I imagine that now that the next Olympics is in Rio, in your home country of Brazil, that Brazil is getting all excited about the possibilities of winning lots of medals. What, what was the talk after London to kind of, in terms of getting excited for 2016? 
Well, now all the Brazilian streamers, we are really, really excited. We're already thinking about, about it's, not, it's kind of far, it's four years from now, but we're already thinking and in real. And uh, I mean, we just need to think each year, you know, next year Barcelona and then uh, Ben Pax in 2014, whatever. But uh, we're definitely looking for, for real in 2016. How often do you get to, to go back home or to Brazil? I usually go, get back like twice per year. So like in the, uh, for my trials in March, uh, actually in, in April, uh, and for Christmas. Well, you said in interviews before that Cesar Cielo was kind of your inspiration for leaving Brazil and coming to the United States for college. When you got on campus, how accurate were the descriptions that he gave of campus and the swim team? It was was really good description. Uh, he told me that he will be the best place for me, the best place for sprinters, and uh, it actually is. It's a it's a great place for sprinters. We are surrounded by like fantastic sprinters here. Brad was a great sprinter. Uh, Fred Busquet, he was one one of the swimmers that. He teach me a lot about sprint, and uh, that's that's a perfect place for me. It fit perfect for me. How does it feel to know that you're following in the footsteps of people like your your now coach Brett Hawk and like you said Fred Busquet and Caesar? Yeah, it feels, it feels great being like part of this program. Uh, I really need to do like much more to be at the level at, that these guys are right now, but uh, I'm really excited. Well, speaking of the things you need to do, obviously this is just your junior year, so you know you got another year after this. But um, what are you, are you doing anything differently this season to, like I said, help you um, increase your chances of winning at the NCAA's? Yeah, this this season, uh, me and Brad, we, we're talking that I really need to improve my start, uh, like some little details, you know, like like start breakouts. And uh, I mean, my swim is, is good. I have to improve, but especially these breakouts, turns, and starts is like really important for yards. So this year we're working more on these little details. Very interesting. What are you studying there at Auburn? Right now I'm, I'm doing Spanish. I was doing business and then I changed to Spanish. Well, it probably isn't too hard to learn Spanish. I mean, Portuguese <laughs> and Spanish aren't too different. Yeah, they're not that that different. So, what would you uh, be using that uh, Spanish degree for? Well, actually, I still don't know. I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm doing like this Spanish for I don't know. I can use maybe in the future, but <laughs> I don't know yet. I'm uh, I'm focused on swimming, but uh, let's see. I don't know honestly. What was that? Was just tossed your way there? <laughs> that was like that was like a, a box of coffee. <laughs> ah, there well, you go. Let's throw it here. Every sprinter's best friend is a, is a good cup of coffee before a race. That's a Brazilian coffee. Does that say Guinea? Yeah, from my last name, Chirigini. There you go. Maybe you could uh, be there once you're done with college. You can get a nice little sponsorship with Guinea Coffee. Yeah, that's actually from my from my dad. My dad have a have a company in Brazil, so I just I just bring some some for, of this coffee to Brad try. Very nice, very nice. As I said, it's uh, caffeine, a little cup of coffee never never hurts right before fifty. So uh, I'm sure you're, I'm sure it's uh, come in handy for you. Yeah, definitely. Well, Marcelo, thanks so much for joining us today. We're looking forward to seeing how you do this season, and uh, especially down the road as we get ready for Rio. Thank you. Thank you, man. All right. So that's Marcelo Chiragini joining us from Auburn, Alabama. And that's going to do it for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. Be sure to log in to SwimmingWorld.com on Facebook or Twitter to get the latest news from Swimming World. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.